Hello YouTubers, so I have a, a different specimen here, and this is something that I probably should cover in the video here, is I got a very unique driver, it's actually a Quam rebranded driver, but it's a very old vintage driver, branded as Muzak, new old stock, complete with the 70 volt transformer, and it's got a blue cone and a felt dust cap, but... I spent about maybe 10 minutes trying to figure out this transformer configuration. This transformer is actually a little bit different from what, what I'm used to seeing on your typical 70 volt speakers like these two here. You have a bunch of wires that come out and you obviously search for a common wire to rule that out first. And then you look at the tap chart, whatever it could be. Either through a legend that's on the back of the magnet or... On the transformer but this was quite unique so put this on the box so you don't ruin that cone now this transformer here you only get three wires you get a black you get a blue and you get a red so quite different that's what threw me off at first because there wasn't as many wires but it says that you it could go up to four watts but i think this driver is different so obviously black is your common always but you either use the red or the blue so as you can see here you have a blue black which i have it at four but it also corresponds to one watt and it corresponds to a quarter of a watt while the red corresponds to one eighth of a watt, while red and black does half, and it does two watts. That's what the red does. It's kind of weird. But then also on the primary, or this is the primary side, the secondary, you get another set of taps. And that's why there's all these different. That's why it kind of jumps around everywhere. So you can literally take this out. And you select, take this connection that comes directly from the speaker, which is the positive side. And you have, you can either select it here or here. And you always have a common wire in the back on the secondary side. So, probably play some music here so you can hear the differences. So. And by the way, I have this connected to the AA200PHD. So. You don't hear nothing right now because it's going through the transformer, but it's not the driver's not connected. So let's connect it to the third one, which actually is the Hearst one. See how you, you can hear it? That's on one. Here's two. And there's three. And by the way, three is the maximum. Which is what I have a set to. So yeah, it will throw you. It will throw you for a curveball. <laughs> it will throw you off. I thought I covered this with you guys in case you guys stumble across something like this with this unique configuration. It's not difficult. It'll just take time for you to fully understand what's going on. After throwing you in for a loophole. Now this is going to be used in a custom enclosure that I have come in. So this is going in a, a different Atlas enclosure. Which I'm covering in another video. So yeah I hope you guys have found this video helpful and entertaining. 